What's up YouTube? We're back here with a video today and today's video is going to be a bit different from any other video I've usually done so far. Um, I've asked y'all if y'all would like any different videos and I've asked y'all two of them and I'm going to be doing these two but first we're doing the how to crack any C++ console app. Now when I mean my, what I mean by that you could literally crack anything within like 30 seconds but to make the video a little bit longer I'm going to explain a few things. When you're trying to crack somebody's stuff, you're going to need XAC4, which I'll leave the link in the description, or you're going to need X34 debugger, which I prefer X64, so I'm just going on Google, type it in, I'll leave the description, but we're going to go to open it. Now when you get yours open, just go ahead and double click X64, X64 DBG. Now it's going to look like this. Now keep in mind, you might be using somebody's stuff like, shit. Say like this is somebody's cheat or somebody's tool and you want to crack it, right? Because this is what we're going to crack today. And say you used it right and you're not scared. You know it's not going to hack you or anything. Well, sometimes there is a rat planted inside of the file that detects cracking so i'll probably leave an image on screen but let's just say i cracked somebody's spoofer and knowing that it wasn't ratted in the end from me cracking it it ended up planting a rat on my on my desktop and my my computer itself which i'll leave a screen uh, image but besides that when you open this, you don't have to open it as an administrative thing. Just grab your file you want to crack and just drag it in here. You'll see it to open this. Now, if it says system breakpoint reached, then you're good. If not, it'll tell you that you need the other version, which is downgraded. Now, leave this open, ignore it, go ahead and full screen this. Right click anywhere on this side. Click on search for all modules, system or string references, and then here you go, gang. You don't crack their entire code. So now you're gonna like, so what do what do I take? What do I do to get it? Well we're just gonna start off from here and we're just gonna scroll down all the way through here because you know why not. And then once you see the exiting part, say if you already used it, just go ahead and copy this whole page. Open up a notepad or something. We're gonna just paste it in there and then bam guys look. We technically have the entire source code now what you're gonna need to do of course is go through here delete this delete that delete that you know you're gonna have to clean it up yourself but in the end you got the entire cleaner code right here you keep coming down you got more cleaners you keep coming down it just keeps going to all their entire code guys it's not gonna look the prettiest because you're, you're counting in all of this too which is unfortunate, maybe we can just, you know, but either way guys, that's how you crack almost any C++ file that's made in console app, or that even just has a UI image like this, or yeah, if it's like this, you're guaranteed to crack. Now, we're gonna do another one just for other reasons, so open 6 x 64 again. Now we're gonna try out a spoofer that I made personally. Now, this spoofer does not work currently, so it will be dropped eventually, and this will work for Fortnite. But in the meantime, I have example links so we can see what we're talking about. And it got deleted, so we're going to cut that out, guys. Alright, sorry about that. We are finally back again. We had to rebuild it. So, what I was saying now is that this spoofer right here actually will be a you can locate this exact base inside of my discord channel so you don't have to crack it just come here to down to random drops and it's literally the entire source code is right here guys so i mean there's no point of cracking it you could just have the code for yourself um but say like when i was talking about the spoofer in the beginning how i cracked that dude spoofer well this is how i did it and this is exactly how i did it so I took the spoofer, I dropped it in here, I did the exact same thing, search for 
after you right click all module all oh, I'm sorry all system uh, all system modules string references and if you scroll through here you might have to scroll a little bit sometimes or I could have just hit the wrong one so I'm going to go back to here which is fine search for system modules or all modules string references there we go bam guys look once again welcome to go up high with spoofer pressing the key to see all serial numbers it's just the entire source code guys literally like this is my entire layout the entire code you can keep going keep going you see it's already spoofed pause successfully spoofed here's your random links so this would be your, your spoofer links basically for your sys your mapper the things that you want to take are cracked to, to quote unquote steal from someone that's what you're going to want right here or you can just bring it over and see it over here too but either way, in the end, guys, that's exactly how you do it. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share my video so we can help grow the channel some more. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord server. I'm always active and ready to help. So, yeah, later.